uh, Apotex. Uh, Honey left first, parked upstairs. Um, the th- leading theory is that when she opened the door, she was probably met by an intruder there. That intruder uh, scuffle ensued. She ended up in the bathroom, she- either dialed 911, didn't. The phone was hung up and placed on the, on the phone. Whether she was hit or not, we don't know. At that point, um, Honey was most likely dragged through the top floor and then down the stairs, which could have possibly accounted for her, um, you know, face mark, like the injuries to Post-mortem her face. Post-mortem ab- ab- uh, abrasions. They're yeah, abrasions. That's what the autopsy said. We don't 100% know if that's in fact the case. But the idea is that he, he, she would have been dragged down the stairs because 15 minutes later, Barry comes in the lower garage, enters the garage, and as he comes in through the door where the spiral staircase is, with a handful of papers and his briefcase, he's met by the intruder. Uh, those are dropped, uh, and then at that, they don't really know what happens other than the next, they're both dead yeah, by the pool. Right, hanging from the bar. Now, when you start to look at it like this, I mean, they had one security camera, right? One security camera in the house, which was in the pool room, which wasn't running, never ran. And these two were hung there. Now, I start to think that, man, this seems like a professional hit. This seems like, right? Even Canadian, it's it's wild because, like, you watch Canadian interviews about this, and they're like, this is rare. Like, normally a... Like, this is how Canadian we're like, normally a whack job is uh, with a gun. Hmm. Uh, everything we've seen in movies, a whack job is uh, someone with a gun who comes and shoots them. These people are strangled. Very rare. Um, who has these kind of resources, right? Big Pharma, right? By all accounts, Big Pharma and Barry Sherman were at fucking odds, right? He was. Well, when you think about it, how much more professional of a, a job does it be when you don't leave anything behind? There's no blood. There's no nothing. Strangulation no nothing. is almost the perfect form of murder. Well, there was a crazy. There was a crazy stat that came across too. There was there was one one guy who's investigating murders in North America, and it was like eight hundred thousand murders since whatever, and only twenty two murders involved elderly people being suffocated, strangled. Twenty two out of all of those over all the years of this guy keeping track of murder like two two elderly people being strangled to death has only happened 22 times and usually because of something to do with money now i mean that it fits the bill wild. so it fits the, the bill. second thing is is like you know you have to obviously like the big pharma these big pharmaceutical companies were fucking choked they were already there was rumored allegations about high, high, like hiding child pornography on his computers you know, planting drugs. They had investigators, private investigators, tailing him, hanging around the parking lots, you know, like leering around, looking in cars. Like they were already kind of doing shady stuff. And it's like, we're talking about millions and millions of dollars that these patents are worth, right? And they're just watching these profits go to Barry on stuff that he stole. They've spent, I don't know how much on research and develop for I mean, like think about that right like that's that's fucking wild yeah so the other thing that why i think it might be big pharma and this is an interesting point is because big pharma and these big pharmaceutical company have a lot of money and they have a lot of sway on political will and the reason i bring that up is because i find it fucking unfathomable that the toronto police service didn't look at anything other than a murder suicide for five to seven weeks until a group of private investigators had to come in and be like, look how, look at this stuff. And they went, Oh, okay. Feels like somebody was covering it up. Right. Or it feels like it, it does because I mean, if you go with all the major metropolises in Canada, Toronto is number one. You think you would have the best, some of the best detectives in Canada. You think they, they've worked t- tons of murders and other cases similar and they don't, do the due diligence that you would think they would. It's fishy. Right? And, 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 and it could be, it could be as this, it could be as simple as this, having enough political sway in certain points that someone just has to say, like, I like murder suicide for this. That's what we're going with. And you, you tell the, you know, you put an investigator on that's, that's, you know, that's toe in the line of whatever he's told. Right. And you're putting the pressure on these top officials, be like, it's murder suicide. Right. 
and well, they're, they're just not that, looking at it. Or you just something simple as that be like, you know what? I'm pulling the strings here. We're going to put the majority of our resources on this MacArthur case. And we're going to send a couple duds over to the fucking Sherman case. Easy. A easy couple easy. guys that you know they're lazy. Let's couple, put our couple fucking, rookies. Yeah, yeah. Just somebody that you know it's lazy. It's going to be like there's nothing easier than walking in and be like murder suicide case closed. Easy yeah. peasy. No who, suspects. Who are those? No interviews. No nothing. We don't have to do nothing. Our job's this easy. Who are those fucking uh, two detectives on Brooklyn Nine Nine? The Scully and, <laughs> yeah, and exactly. Hitchcock. Yeah. Scully, Scully and Hitchcock. Scully and Hitchcock. Yeah. That's who they sent. That's who they Absolutely. sent to the fucking Sherman murder. Right, but I, I, I like big farmer for this and i think a lot because it, it the hit is personal they didn't steal anything nothing gets stolen um right they're left and it, it message sent it sends like it sends a message and did you i don't know if you guys came across this i randomly came across that the shermans in their living room have art of two human figures sitting with their backs against the wall and a very similar fashion to how the Shermans were found. We should have a picture of it. Yeah, well, it's gotta, super bizarre. Have, the way that Barry's positioned with his right leg over top of his other leg that's straight out. Like, it, that is not a natural fucking position for somebody to be so, in. Yeah. So this is like, a, it's a like an abstract art. It's an abstract art piece. I don't even know what it's made of. Like, it's, it's like cardboard it's or some a, no, weird No, it's shit. apparently made from junk. Like, just random shit. But it, it's made to look abstract. Like, it's kind of, it looks like a human figure, but... You, not and really. And is, the bizarre thing, too, is this has been... And in it a, looks just like how they're found. Th this thing was made in the 70s, and apparently the Shermans have had it since the early 80s. And, and it's been in every one of their houses. And, like, it's it's in the... It's the the hallway that leads to the stairs and, like, to the pool. This is the adjacent room. Like, this is the room across the hall from the pool. So it's like, those are right there. And it... it, it, it right. Like it, it, it does look like the bodies are staged. Like you, you don't cross your legs to suffocate, right? And it's like, if you're killed, it looks like you would be. They would be purposely like, you would be kicking your legs if you were getting strangled or something. You know what I mean? So it's, it seems like it's it, weird. It, it, it's very, very strange. It's it feels weird. like the legs were, you know, put like that afterwards. The bodies were staged. It looks like to the same way. resemble those fucking St statues. statues. Uh, Honey's on the right, berries on the left. Like it's just like those the laid of those statues. It's a, a message was sent. Like it's weird. It's targeted. It's a targeted. Right. It seems like a targeted hit. Absolutely hint. no evidence. No sign of forced entry. They the people whoever was there would have had to know the house, right? Would have had to know what they were doing. Um, moved quickly and efficiently to get in and out, right? Subdue. Well, I mean, they're in their seventies. So how hard would it have been to subdue them? It's hard, but no weapon use, right? Like strangulation, both of them. I the one thing that I would like if these professional hitmen wanted to make it look like a suicide, I think they maybe would have fucking like why not force them to at gunpoint to write a suicide note, something like that, or have somebody that you know made one up typed to actually. I mean, to actually hang themselves from like something that a person trying to commit suicide would. Yeah, right. Well, like so, that's but, that's but the he, one thing that I, I come think that. But with, here's but. I'll, I'll, I'll argue this point, and we'll as we move on this point will get more clear in my perspective like in my in, in my thought process anyways is that there is current we're going to talk about some current litigation that just settled between barry and some of his family members that was very fucking public very public so in my perspective if there's no suicide note and somehow whoever is pulling the strings you can't get the cops to not look away from a, a double homicide right away you already have fucking perfect suspects lined up to potentially you know cuz let's say let's say if if you're shooting like hey we want to get out of the first 48 right hypothetically if you got if you got a couple fucking prime suspects that you can kind of point this at perfect who's one of these other prime suspects that we might want to look at well, if we're gonna get into this, um, we're gonna get into this suspect. We have to take it back. We have to take it fucking way back. How far back exactly? We, well, we got to take it back to the sale of Empire, Empire Pharmaceuticals to Barry Sherman. The mm. deal actually included a written option that Sherman's first cousins, the fourth or the four orphans, would have the mm. right to work for the company at age twenty-one and purchase up to five percent of each. 
um, each of the firm shares, right? So that would not even, given, not even purchase. I thought just be awarded. Well, 5%. apparently they were able, in, in the write up. That hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.